Hey guys, what is going on? It's Fenimation here again. So, over the last week, I've been extremely busy, um, and that's why there hasn't been any videos, so I do want to apologise for that. Um, but let me explain what I've been doing. Um, on Saturday, which was, uh, wow, it was three, two, two days ago now, actually. Oh, I feel so long ago. Um, I finally got my car. Um, and, yeah, on the 7th, I got my car. And, it, and it's been so, so awesome. Um, I've been out, like, I was out most of the day Saturday. Um, most of the day Sunday. And I've just got back now from being out since 9 o'clock this morning. So, um, but driving, I don't know if, if anyone is a driver. Uh, perhaps people who watch these tutorials are of a younger generation and yet, um, you know, have to drive. But driving really, really exhausts you. Um, there's so much that you have to do in terms of concentration and especially as a new driver. Um, I only got my license in September um, and I've only just started driving now, so, um, and it's kind of a bad time because of winter, um, in terms of winter, nights are really, really, um, early, around four o'clock, so driving at night time is a, is a totally different experience, and as I was driving, I started at the beginning of the year, and it took me about nine months, um, of maybe one, um, to two lessons a week, um, in order to pass, I did the average, which was about, and 39 hours of driving and I passed so um, but we did we didn't really do any um, nighttime driving so it's, it's a really big experience for me and I, I really love it it's um, such an awesome feeling and um, but anyways that is why I have been extremely busy and not been as active if you follow me on Facebook uh, Facebook forward slash Fenimation and um, you can find all the updates on there so, in today's tutorial, what are we going to be talking about? Well, we're going to be talking about joints or bones, depending on your preference. So, let's create a cube, and I'm going to give this um, 50 by 200 by 50. We're going to enable the Garoud shading lines. Um, you can also enable um, quick shading, it doesn't really matter. Um, the Y segments we're going to bump up to 8 and the X and Z we're going to bump up to 2. So we've got this uniform um, polygon count. So the polygons are square and that's typically what you want, especially for rigging. If you have really elongated polygons which mean something like that, these are classed as rectangles uh, or elongated which basically just means that they're, they're, too, they're too long and um, without being broken up. That's why we add in these extra edges in order to make these, uh, basically to divide them properly. Um, so yeah, once we've got that, we're going to press C to make it editable. Um, and then we're going to go to the front view. And it's really important that you work in a front view um, or a side view or a top view but in an orthographic view nonetheless um, when working with joints and bones the reason for this is because you want them to be accurately placed so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go up here to character and you've got two options you have the joint tool and you have the joint now the joint tool which i'll go over if you click on this you get these options now the bonuses with the joint tool is it just makes things a little bit quicker and a little bit easier. Um, it creates a null, which is the root, so it's the parent. If you look back to the previous tutorial where we talked about hierarchy and parents controlling the children, so on and so forth, um, if you click, nothing will happen, and this can frustrate a lot of people. Um, it's not difficult to um, to figure this out, but if you go down here, I believe to modifiers. Um, you've got a few things that you can use, so um, control, default, so control basically means draw, and that's control, as in um, CTRL, so it's the control key. Um, shift will allow you to split um, the polygons. So let me just show you, if you hold down control, you can click and it makes a joint. So straight away you've got a root, which is the parent, and then you have a joint one. So press control down again, click, 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 click. And as you can see, it hierarchs this properly for you, which is really nice. However, I do recommend if you're new to um, rigging, don't use that. Use the 
the the normal joint here, just just the joint. The reason I say this is because it gives you a really good understanding of what needs to be um, put together in terms of like a hierarchy. You know what joints need to be connected and which others can be in their own system, their own joint um, hierarchy. And um, this is of course going into more advanced rigging, um, but in terms of this. Um, it's still good simply because it gives you an understanding of how it's actually constructed and if you don't know how it's constructed then you're pretty much not going to really understand the concept so uh, we've got one joint and we want to move it to the top here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable um, the snapping now snapping is important um, and we'll go through this so I'm just going to drag this up to snap it to the top if we go to the top view you can see it's already centered into the world axes because the cube is as well if this wasn't in the world axes then you would obviously move this to snap to the center of this object so now that we've got that I'm going to control drag down this and um, to make another joint and then I'm going to drag this down then I'm going to drop this into the hierarchy and I'm going to continue this process um, all the way down until we have finished so as you can see it does take a little bit longer but the I guess the understanding is there um, and it's important that you get these accurately because that's where the um, deformation will occur when you um, bind this so as you can see I'm just dragging and pulling down making sure this snaps and then we can go down and the last one and there we go so now that we've got this object and everything is you know aligned and um, we can put this into a null by creating a null and just dragging and dropping this in so there we go so wherever the null goes the um, the joints will follow of course so what we want to do is we want to grab all of the joints by holding shift and of course clicking on the top one and then we want to control click the actual mesh so this is going to be the the object that's going to be deformed by these joints um, so what you want to do is go to character commands and we've got an object here called bind now before we bind it you want to make sure that your joints are oriented orientated in the correct orientation that means if we look at this the y-axis is pointing up if we click on the joint below that same the y-axis pointing up the z-axis is pointing um, of course back so we want to just go through and make sure all of these have the same axes and it is important um, because if it's not um, in the same axes as the chain and um, you can start to get flipping and um, it can cause some real issues so once you know that's all okay um, and if one is flipped for example you, you can go into the uh, axes and you can of course just rotate this around so feel free to do that so we're going to grab all these and then we're going to turn off the axis mode go to characters commands and hit bind so now if we move this null you can see this mesh follows and that's simply because the joints are now controlling this we have no control over this uh, we, we can obviously move it like this but we don't have any control we cannot uh, control it because the joints will be controlling it so if we grab this and we just rotate this you can see we get this now you might know that we get some really horrible def deformations here um, you would think that these points here would move up and these would kind of um, come around a little bit to compensate for the lack of polygons um, in this section so this is where um, a lot of things do come in handy um, for example if we put this into a hyper nerves everything's gonna go really soft on the edges because we don't have any control edges but if we grab that same edge and if we now just turn off these and rotate you can see we get this really nice bendy shape which is really cool um, and that's kind of good for creating fingers and that kind of thing um, however sometimes you'll run into issues where um, things don't really work the way you would want them to work so that's where this tag comes in it's called the weights tag 
Now if you shift and double click this, it will open the weights manager. And what the weights manager does is it gives you the weight of each joint. So it's the influence of which bone influences which part of the mesh. So for example, if we go to the joint um, one tool here, you can see it's red. So this red joint, which is just in this first square, is actually uh, affecting one square beyond its um, its size, if that makes sense. And then same with the orange one, that's affecting these set of points and it's kind of blending out. And then we can go down and you can see it's the exact same thing all the way down. So in order to kind of fix this and give more joints more pull, we have an option here called strength and we have some modes. We want to leave it to add because we want to add to these selections and we can take away with the control so it's add and subtract. If we go up to the character tag and we go down to the weight tool, this gives us a little paintbrush. Um, you can go in and select points and add um, your weight to that. Um, however, I find it a little bit easier to stay in this um, this object mode and then just go to the character and use the weight tool. So what we're kind of saying here is um, this joint here, we can maybe give it some some um, weight. So if we do control, we can take that away. We're actually doing 25% at each time. So let's say if we go up here, we can take some more off or we can add some more. Now nothing is really happening right now. That's because we need to make sure we're giving the um, the correct bone the, um, the correct amount of weight. So we're actually bending this blue one. So if we um, click and drag over these, you can see this pulls down because now this these sets of points uh, are having 25% more influence with this joint that's highlighted. So if we, we can do it on the edges here as well. And we can do it with these edges at the back as well. So if we give these some more influence, we can kind of see these will start to move up. Now, if for some reason you're not getting a particular good um, bend, you can obviously reduce this down to maybe one, and you can just slowly um, keep adding, you know, slight adjustments. And this is where the real creativity comes in with doing this, because it, it will take you a while. Um, you can't just magically expect it to work, because um, one, it can be so confusing, because there's so many bones here, and you can get confused. Like this joint here has black and then it's green and you're like, well, what the hell's going on here? Um, but if you really break it down um, and just kind of experiment, let's put this up to 25 again. Uh, if we click here, you can see this moves all the way up. Why is that? It's because we give this top bone here, which is highlighted, more influence. However, this one isn't actually being bent. The bend is actually um, below that, so it's the joint below that, which is this one, because that's where the axis is at the top here, and that's what's being rotated. So we obviously want to give that more um, influence than this bone that's being straight. It's the same if we grab a, a bone up here and we rotate this. Um, let's jump out of that for now. and uh, Let's grab that bone, let's say here, and let's rotate that. You can kind of see if we go back into the weights tool um, and shift double click here to get this up, um, we can find that and we can, let's just say click here, then that will move down. And then we can obviously click here to move that up. So we're getting a bit of a nicer bend. Um, again, we can use control to subtract that section there and that section there and we want to make sure that we don't select points that shouldn't be selected but you can kind of see this is what we're um, dealing with so this has a lot of influence so if we just control and drag across here it's getting rid of all of that influence which is nice and then if we go through this one's still got a lot of influence so we can maybe add a bit more to that there we go so that's now straightened out so if we enable the um, hypernerves again you can see we get a, a really decent result from this 
um, and of course turning this on and off you're gonna see different results um, but you know if we of course grab the ones that we rotated and rotate back you can kind of see this is what we get we get this deformation which looks pretty nice um, and then we can go down and select this one and we can bring this out so this is what you want to do you kind of want to look well does that bend look good um, is this the extreme pose because if it is then maybe it's okay but you can see the front bends in a lot so maybe we don't want as much influence at the front um, when we're rotating and what you can do is you can actually animate this pose so you can scrub through it and see how it looks depending on, on how much influence you give it but out of all of this the weights is the most difficult and it's the most time consuming and it takes the most artistic nature in order to get it looking right so don't feel discouraged if you go in and one you get a little bit confused um, just just really play around with the settings the only settings that you really need to play around with is the strength and that's how much influence you give to each bone um, you know maybe put it something like 5% because you can just go over it multiple times and, and give it as much as you actually need the mode add is, is sufficient um, you can use control to subtract um, you don't really need to worry about any of these here um, and then you just need to click on which bone you want to give the um, the influence to and you can actually see the bones change color as you go down so you know which bones actually affect in which areas um, and once you've finished with it and you're happy you can always lock the layers so you can't change them and of course you can change the color as well it kind of gives you uh, automatic colors so I don't know it's, it's kind of cool um, but that is how you would go about adding a, um, a joint to um, any mesh. It can be anything you want. It can be your own character. It can be a finger. It can be um, a robotic arm. Anything really. Um, these principles apply to everything. I think in the next episode I'll probably go through and rig um, a small character. Just kind of showing you the process um, as well. Um, so that's pretty much it so guys thank you very much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this episode and if you've got any questions leave them in the comment section below if not in the comments you can also leave them on Facebook which I get notified straight away um, and of course I can reply to you straight away as well um, on YouTube it's a lot more difficult to reply with this stupid Google Plus um, but also it, I can't reply on my phone so I, I physically have to go to the computer log in find the message and then reply but then I can't reply if you don't have a Google Plus account because it won't let me just physically reply to you and the other way you can see it is if you check back on the video yourself and see if I've left a comment so it's just it's just a ball ache really um, so easiest way is catch me on social networks such as uh, fa uh, well yeah Facebook uh, forward slash Fenimation and um, that's pretty much it so thank you guys for watching and i will catch you next time peace